Good morning, Sunflowers. This is a box of secateurs. Add to the pile. We've not got enough, that's why, right, so I've ordered some more. The very first year we did Sunflowers, I think we lost about £200 worth of secateurs. They just go walkabouts. Not so bad now, because we make sure and remind everyone once they're finished. Make sure and return your secateurs. But you still lose a few sets. Another OSR field. I've just dropped Dunk off this morning. He's going to start cutting. Me and Kev are going to keep on sewing. Just had peace time. Kev's GPS fires up so much quicker than mine. I'm waiting for a wee D to pop up there. It's taking its time and it wasn't working properly this morning. Let's check. We've got some satellites. 16 visible, track 12. Come on, pal. Give us the D GPS. The D stands for differential. Hey, D, G, P, S, we're off. G, P, S, the older generation say it's lazy, the younger generation say it's efficient. I slip with the clutch here and I am stuffed. Probably about a 70 degree slope off the edge there, I'm just ditching some stones. Great lady brings gifts. For food out. It's my final jammy dog. It's a belter. As good as the first. Job done. Kev's away home. He's nabbed dad's car. Gate lady sorting out the water for my cows. Amazing. What a lady. Good action. Good morning. We are cutting rye for the first time ever. So this was the Doddy Walk or is the Doddy Walk. It's now time to be cut. So we'll say goodbye to this big field of Doddy. We've raised a bit shy of £7,000 so far. We're going to leave the Doddy box out of the sunflower. So we need to take these signs down before the combine mows them down. Having a good time, having a good time. A shooting star leaping through the sky like a tiger. That's what the path used to be and now it's gone, or it's going. Obviously being wry and tall and fairly bulky, there's a lot, a lot of straw being chopped here. Might be a bit of bother with the plough that. It's half seven at the moment, in the morning. We are very rarely combining at this time, but we're right next to the sunflowers. They open at nine o'clock. So we want to get the machinery out of here before they open and there's lots of kids about. So that's why we're getting on with this quick shot. There's one more sign in here to pick up. This is the rugby ball. People have obviously been walking around the rugby ball. Anyway, you go back out here. This is Doddy's fingers. That's his fingers of his hands catching the rugby ball. This is the arrow I'm needing before it gets gobbled up. Job. Harder than you think to delay this sadness that creeps up my spine and hunts me through the night. Life is scared. We might need to go over the stubble with a topper, but it's quite high because the crop's tall. Dunks had to lift the header up a little bit. Oh, I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird. First load in the trailer. It's odd looking stuff quite grey there's not a lot of like nice colour to it but I mean it's a really clean sample clean as a whistle odd looking stuff never grown it so wheat it's like quite bright and orange barley and oats are quite golden in colour this is a greeny grey doesn't look too appealing anyway I don't think the cows will be fussed by the colour of it we're just going to bruise it up with mix it with barley as well and feed it to the cows 
that gets rid of it. Take me to the place I love. Take me all the way. I think there'll be about maybe 30 ton off this field. We'll see what happens. We didn't give it a full dose of nitrogen, obviously, so it's hard to know. Sunflowers look brilliant. They have grown phenomenally. I won't know. Trailer full, just gonna dump. I'm not actually gonna empty the trailer, I'm gonna park it in this shed and put on another trailer. Which should be just here, yeah. And that'll get the last of it. There'll only be another five ton, maybe. That's about 20 ton that's come off the field. I'm running low on battery, what am I on? 29%. And I've got that wee strip to do. I think the drone will catch it all. Hope so. Just like that, the dory walk is gone. It is no more. Thank you to anyone who donated. We've managed to raise just shy of £7,000 from my name's Dory for MND research and helping people with MND. The link is still open, so if you fancy donating down below and get us above £7,000, that would be amazing. Cheers again for donating and coming around the trail. Happy days. We'll shift the combine. We're on to the next. We're actually not, we've got a bit of a break now until we get to wheat and some spring barley. It all worked very smoothly. That is the first people arriving at the Sunflower Trail and we are just clearing out now. Timing could not have been better. Shift the combine on the road, TR2 again. Get it into the shed, get it fueled up. It's not gonna move again for another week at least. Right, let's get this big machine on the road. This is a specifically tight bit. It narrows right down the bottom. Where Dunk is right now, there's loads of bushes and trees, so see how this gets negotiated. I'm just pulled in at the side of the road just now, but there's a couple of specific bits that narrow, but on the whole, it's not too bad a road to shift the combine. Right, I'm gonna nip. I need to check the Highlanders. One's already had a calf, but the other two. That's a pile of OSR that we've combined the last few days. That's probably half of it. The other half went to yard three, where there's another dryer. So these two are still to calf. That darker highland over there has calved, and its calf is quite small, so you can't see it right now. This one definitely looks in calf. That one looks a bit narrower, that be so I'm not sure on that one, but this one I'm pretty sure is in calf. They are quality animals, aren't they? Can be very annoying, but they are cool to look at. They're now all staying in the field, which is lovely. It really does help. It really does make life a lot easier when cattle stay in the field you put them in. I own this town. Sprayer time. Yoke this machine up and go and spray some spring barley, some wheat, some pre-em on some OSR needs done. There's a lot to do. Good to go. Right, field number one. This is all getting sprayed because potatoes in here last year. There's quite a few, com a few coming through. We'll spray all of this and all of the other fields I'm going to today, just doing the end rig, tidy up the end rig. This is the field of wheat I made a pig's ear of back when I was putting pre-emergence on. If you do not remember, I did double the rate of what was required on the end rig and it nailed the crop. The body of the field, I only did three widths um, and then I stopped and realized what I had done. So the end rigs are pretty weedy because the wheat got hammered back a bit. There's not been the coverage of wheat to not let the sunlight get to any potential weeds. So the weeds have had loads of chance to get going they're really quite weedy. It was a rain chasing kind of day. It was my last bit and I was trying to get on and one thought went in my mind and double the rain thought came out of the other mind, the other ear. When I was spraying growth reg in this field, 
I also don't think I did pre-M in this field on this tram line. I missed it both times. Didn't see it at all. I don't think Kev put it in with a drill either, so I think we all missed it. <laughs> so you can see exactly what the growth reg is doing. That's the patch that hasn't had any growth reg on it. Field done. On to the next. A scone and tea at half past three makes your day a little brighter. Take your cakes and fancy tarts and stick them up your shirt. Those stiff bearings that I mentioned the other day on the discs, well, one's just collapsed and there's two others that are pretty stiff. So there you go. go. That's the goose one. And then those two are pretty stiff. Oh yeah, that one's goose, isn't it? That's not quite as goose, but on the way. Basically, if I can squeeze through here, that front set of discs, we took three out, one bearing collapsed and two were stiff. It's got two sets of discs, so the soil was still getting moved. You can see the gap in there, and there is legs at the front, so it wasn't a disaster. Because nowhere had full legs in stock. Could have got bearings, tried that before replacing the bearings, did it three times on one and just could not get it to seal, so gave up. Dad's ordered three full hubs, um, pre-assembled bearings basically that are pre-sealed, so and um, we don't need to try and put new bearings in and a seal so that'll do the job but it kept us moving for a few more acres do more or less poles come into play if you have a bigger sprayer hmm interesting it's got bigger booms to fold in but put it down below more or less could do a few beavers appearing the one time i'd quite fancy a beaver on the farm no that one down and no, all of those ones down. End rig on this field, done and dusted. On to the next. Field number three. Tell you what, you get through a lot of fields when you're just nipping around the end rig and out again. Put it down below. Why is there different colours in here? Another one bites the dust. Another one. Another one. We're off of wheat. We're now on to spring barley. I've not quite finished this, but I'm good to bed. Also, new bunnets are out. Not exactly this one this one the link is down below for the hats make sure and look at the right one some have a wee scotland flag some don't have a scotland flag because some people have requested no scotland flag which i think is a sin anyway just watching subscribe if you're not already and like the video